Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Repack. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix out the performance mode for getting the guys more FPS into the Fortnite. Guys, if you have a low PC and after using the performance mode, you are still getting the low FPS. So, guys, into this video, I'm going to show you how to use the performance mode properly on your PC for getting the more FPS without any stutters or the FPS drops with low input delay. So guys, let's start this video, but guys, if this is your first time here onto my channel, so guys, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification, therefore you never miss out any next future video from my this channel. Because I'm daily upload a lot of video which can help out you guys getting the more FPS or the best gaming experience on your PC. So guys, let's start this video. So guys, the first thing which you need to do to guys, that is the most important, that guys, you need to just simply download the Fortnite performance and FPS boost pack. Guys, this is guys really help out you to boosting up or fixing out your these uh, performance uh, issues. So guys, first you need to download this pack. The link of this pack into the descriptions of my this video. So just go there on my website. There is a couple of ads. You know, it is important for me to bring in a lot of content for you. Just simply download the pack from the red downloaded button. And just after downloading it on your PC, just extract it on your desktop and here is guys over 25.6 megabytes folder. So just open up this folder and here is guys couple of file for the bubble wrap builds, the DX11 build or performance and the mobile build. This is guys according to you if you have a very low end PC so I will suggest you to go with the mobile builds. If you have a mad end so you will go with the bubble wrap and if you have a high end PC and you want to use the performance mode so you can go with the DX11 build. Guys this is the basic builds you can check it out here. But guys, method for all of this build is same to installing these files in your uh, Fortnite. So just simply guys, here is the bubble wrap build. So we are going to use this one. So just open up this first folder and here is the game user settings file. So just right click here and copy this file from here. Guys, I have already done all the guys coding into this file. You can check it out here when I just open this with the edit. So you can check it out. I have already did a... Uh, set the all the coding here into this so just guys close out it just simply right click here and copy these files go for the search button and just type here one and press enter now guys here you need to just simply type here local uh, app data percentage and percentage sign uh, before this word click ok and it will take you here onto the site onto this guys screen directly so go into the fortnite games save configs and here is the windows client open up this folder and here is our game user settings file just right click here paste out it here and replace this file uh, into this destination and guys here now it's done just go into the properties of the game user settings file and just check mark here onto the read only therefore it is not changed if you want to change any setting from here so you can just uh, uh, uncheck this and uh, it is guys done but i will suggest you to go with the read only apply the settings and click ok just after doing the settings, now here is the most important step. Just after installing all these settings into the Fortnite. Now you need to just simply go for the Epic Games Launcher. So here is our Epic Games Launcher. So what you need to do now here, go into the library sections. And guys, I will suggest to you and recommend you to guys, just uninstall your Fortnite and reinstall it on your PC. But before reinstalling it, I will suggest you to just, uh, you need to go into the option menu, install it on your PC and uncheck all of these options also uncheck the uh, fortnite save the world and the high regulation texture pack just uncheck these boot boxes from here and guys also if you have uh, using any other language so, so you can just simply select it from here so just i will suggest you to guys uncheck these two boxes because it is also reduce your performance on your pc so just check mark here onto the fortnite core and the battery are required and just apply the settings and guys now here it's done and guys just after doing out the settings now here is the next file in our boost pack which is the guys cpu quick cpu setups guys actually it is going to help out you to giving our uh, cpu the maximum performance for the fortnite because you now the fortnite is the uh, cpu based game so therefore you're going to optimize over cpu for getting the more fps so just simply install it on your desktop it is really simple to guys installing it just double click here onto the setup Click next and just simply install it on your PC. Here is guys the interface of the quick CPU. So what you need to do here, so guys simply uh, select here the Bitsum high performance power system plan from here. 
just select out this if you don't have this plan here so just simply select out the high performance plan from here and set it on to the activate but if you have the version so just set it on to the activate and just you can check it out here all the detail of your cpu cores and go here into the uh, core parking frequency scaling at the turbo boost and make sure it is on to the 100 percent just after doing it also set it on performance on to the 100 percent and apply the settings and click ok now go into the advanced cpu settings and from here guys also make sure you have already set the performance slash energy policies onto the maximum performance and just simply apply the settings and close out it and just guys again just minimize the software in your background when you launch your game so guys you can also just close out it it is running in your background always and guys it's a safe settings for your pc this is not any type of harmful for your cpu for your hardware so just simply follow out my settings and you will get the best performance ever you have never guys experienced into this gaming so guys i hope so this video is really helped out you to guys fixing out your this performance issue into the battle royale fortnite so guys till at the next video allah hafi then bye bye